Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 61 of Midnight Code 3. We're in this episode, starting off by going, going into the garage, as per usual, where I need to find a tuner car to use, because we are going to be racing in the uh, Unbeatable Street Racers tournament for Tokyo. So, I could just go ahead and use my Charger, or the Esprit that I used the last episode, um, but I think I want to use a different vehicle, and I think I know which one I want to use. Which is going to be none other than... Actually, wait. Hold on, I have a vehicle I haven't used yet, haven't I? Hold on. Let me just scroll through here real quick. I think. Yeah, I do have a car we can use. Those six Charger S58. I forgot I actually unlocked it in the last episode. So, we're going to go ahead and switch to that. We're going to fully upgrade it as we always do. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh my god, I have so many cars. Oh, too bad the Magnum's like awful and also not in the correct, uh, not in the correct class. Oh, it's a dub edition. I forgot about that. Oh well. Whatever. We're going to use it as is. So, auto upgrade. We got $195,000 now. Let's go ahead and exit the garage and hopefully this thing will be pretty good. Uh, hopefully. I'm very much hoping so. Who knows if it actually will. But. Now we have our newly released uh, new modern classic Dodge Charge SRT8. This game calls it. And we have the Unbeatable Street Racer Tournament which is only for tuner cars. Which for reason this is called a tuner car. And our prize is the Chevy Cobalt SS. Or 30, well not or $3,500 and $3,500. What a great prize. What a great set of prizes. Oh well. Um, but yeah, we're going to win a Cobalt SS. Ooh, so fun, sir. Because Cobalt SS's are, you know, so fancy. We got an SR, we got an RT concept, we got a, a Spree. Is it only four of us? It is only four of us. All right. Come on. Let me catch at least one of them. Go. Charger, go. Well. I'm just gonna go ahead and restart this tournament because a first a first race loss is not uh is not optimal at all. And I very obviously could have won easily if I wouldn't have gotten uh slightly RNG bullied. I'm gonna call that RNG bully. That's what all that was. Whatever, I guess I went around it, fuck. I'm definitely an RNG bully because of the, uh, oh fuck, of course because of the, the rain, because the rain is 100% RNG, which is fucking stupid. I guess that's how rain works though, it's kind of random. Ah! You can't really control when it rains and when it doesn't, IRL. Well, good job, dumbass. That was the SR, wasn't it? It was. I can't see anything, by the way. I re my vision has been reduced significantly. That was a really hard word to say for some reason. Significantly. Alright, do some nitrous. I'm gonna go ahead and hop over here. Hopefully I don't fuck up the shortcut this time. I'm gonna go to the right here. There we go. There we go. That's a way to do it. Okay, go ahead and hop over as soon as possible. Not try and wait till the last second. Go! I got it! I mean... Unless something incredibly stupid happened, which it didn't, luckily. Alright, got me my six points. Tezuke, Kaori, and Oi! Actually, I don't know how, uh, I don't know how to say the last one, but whatever. We got four races in here too. A little bit more than usual. Look at that independent rear suspension on that cobalt. That's so fun, sir. My 89 Chrysler does not have independent rear suspension being a front wheel drive car. <coughs> I feel like I just I literally just raced in this race to unlock this tournament, by the way. Believe it or not. 
I just realized it's the exact same fucking race. Because I can't imagine many races have a, uh, oh god, a Nissan Skyline cop car flying past right away. I was hoping that I would get that checkpoint. Sometimes this game is unreliable and doesn't give you checkpoints that you drive past. That was almost deadly. Ah, oh, yeah, this car is good. We Gucci. Uh, I am not going to use that. I'm just going to go ahead and take my chances with uh, flying off of this real quick. And it worked out fairly well. As in, I didn't flip over. That was my main worry. God, how many nitrous do I have? I don't think I've actually used one as this race, though. Ah! Getting on the railways in this fucking city are always so sketchy. Because you can just fly off at any second. More nitrous. And also, I gotta swap over to the right here. There we go. Hell yeah, that's how you do that. Hell yeah. Oh, I don't have any more nitrous, damn it. Chris has a very respectable top speed of about 214 miles per hour. It's pretty impressive for a big ass Charger SRT8. <laughs> I'm actually curious of what the uh, the actual top speed of a Charger SRT of that generation is. Bruh, I'm not getting any money. I'm getting $3,500 after completing this tournament. Trust me, I'm not getting much money. But I'm assuming that the charge is probably limited to 155 I would assume. I have no clue. Uh, so I wonder what the actual top speed of it is. If anybody knows, you can leave it in the comment section below. Because I'll probably forget to look it up. Because that's what I usually do. Yep cookie on the side of my mouth. I am professional, by the way. This whole face cam thing is really screwing me up, because I'm definitely not used to, like, having my face on a camera. At all. So welcome to, uh, me being the big stupid. Ah! I'm trying to figure out how the hell all this works. Oh. I kind of like that better. This sounds actually more like the Charger SRT8 should sound, I'd assume. I've never actually driven an SRT8 Charger. Closest I've gotten, well, the only real, really modern, heavy powered vehicle I've driven was my dad's 2013 Ram they had. I drove a Ch Challenger SRT8, didn't I? A 6.4 Challenger SRT8. Don't remember how it sounded, though. I remember it was fast, and it was also extremely wide. Had trouble backing it into the building of my old work. Uh, when I didn't have trouble, you know, backing in, like, dually pickups. Thing was ridiculously wide. That's what's this race, I just realized. Oh, okay. That's not how to do that, but I made it anyways. Go! Go! Again! Hell yeah, that's race three. Done, I think. I'm tired of waiting. Yay, race three's done. I can't lose. There's no way for me to lose. Fantastic. Don't call me a Yankee. You don't even sound Japanese, you dingus. You don't even have an accent in, while you're speaking English. You have no room to fucking talk. Mm. What are those wheels? Those look like SRT or SRT10 Ram and uh, Viper wheels, actually on that charger next to me. It's kind of interesting. So the good news is that I can't lose at all. Uh, I can't really think of any bad news to put here at the moment. Ah! Bad news is I'm still winning a Cobalt SS. Oh, off of this. This is like one of the few games that actually has a Cobalt SS in it. Ah, fuck! Because of course, like, Forza 2 through, uh... Forza 2 through 4 had it. That'd be kind of a neat car to have back in Forza, though, honestly. I'd, I'd drive it in Forza. Again. Because I have driven in Forza before. Wow, I could not decide which way I wanted to go, so I took the middle route. Bad idea. 
by the way. Ah. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I took him out while, like, almost taking myself out. Congratulations. There's a hair in my mouth. And it has been fixed. Main problem with having long hair. It gets in my mouth a lot. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna punt him out of the way, I guess. Man, I am almost damaged out. Oh, fuck. Well, that was really good, by the way. Good thing I can't lose this tournament. Man, I really fucked over whoever's in last place. That's impressively, uh, impressively fucker rude right there. Well, I'm dead, by the way. I'm damaging out here in a second, probably. <clears throat> No, can I make it through the last lap without damaging out? Probably not. I'm still going for it no matter what. Of course not past that though. I remember the first lap. I'm gonna sneeze at some point. <coughs> there we go. I said that while recording one of the other previous, or like recent previous episodes too, but I never sneezed. So I'm glad I was actually able to provide for you this time, providing uh, top quality content right here. Damage up, by the way. <laughs> God damn it. Man, it hairs my mouth again, son of a bitch. I think I got it. Alright, new goal, get in first. At all costs. At any cost? Another second. Oh, well, I could possibly have first. This guy just fucked up a lot. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. Well, I used all my nitrous rip. Second's slightly possible, though. Actually, second's uh, extremely possible. Whatever. Hello. <laughs> I almost slipped him over again. Alright, I ween. Thanks for playing. God, how does his hair keep getting in my mouth? There we go, there's our $3,500 dollarinos and the 2005 Chevy Cobalt, even though it doesn't say SS for some reason, but it is an SS. It is very supercharged, and it is an SS. So now you come to Japan and win a Chevy. <laughs> Though the Chevy Cobalt <clears throat> SS, a real nice tuner. Real nice. Going crazy for this thing. Light car with a lot of horsepower. It has 205 horsepower. It has 5 horsepower more than my Chrysler from 1989. It's not that great. It's not that powerful. But uh, anyways, that will conclude this here episode of Midnight Club 3. So thank you all so much for watching. And for now, I'm out of here. See ya.